holiday greeting I've been wanting to send to the Mandarin. second we thought it was over but a final missile slipped past i watched in horror as the entire condo sunk into the abyss thankfully jarvis had managed to help tony escape a watery end but the suit had shorted out leaving him stranded in tennessee further adding to his troubles the hot-headed villains happened to be visiting the area and tony's only ally was harley a local boy with a pretty mean potato gun the pair were left with no choice but to take on the flame heads together Tony really should start keeping the rest of the Avengers on speed dial. Whoa, that was so cool! I, I mean, you know, in, in a bad way. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. There are Transformers around here that'll shut the power off. I accidentally did that. <laughs> Twice. version of this where you come out on top. Don't worry about it, I'll fix it. Uh, no offense, but I think you might be a little too heavy for this. Let me try. Thank you. 
That's one of them taken care of. Now to find the other one. Hey, look! There's a transformer up here. Let's smash it and go. of this where you come out on top. Oh man, she looks angry. Like, really angry. How is she even glowing like that? some creative use of a microwave, Tony defeated the remaining extremis-fueled agents and headed off to take down the Mandarin. Then, things got complicated very quickly. The Mandarin turned out to be a washed-up British actor called Trevor, and the real villain was actually someone familiar. Not an ex-neighbor, but a nerd turned superhuman called Aldrich Killian. I've got to admit, he was looking much more suave these days. Killian only went and took me hostage, exposing me to Extremis. He also kidnapped the president, too, and planned to serve him up like a roast turkey. Tony turned up to save the day, this time with Iron Patriot by his side and his entire back catalog of Iron Man suits. The ten-year-old with the potato gun would have come, too, but he had to tidy his room. <laughs> <laughs> 